What's up, YouTube? This is Game Randomly. My hair is ridiculously crazy, and I haven't shaved in a very long time. But, I have a shit ton of games, because I haven't updated my uh, games about recently since uh, the end of July. And it is now the end of October, so... I've actually, through the summer months, I was actually stopping collecting pretty much for a while, because I was saving up some money. And then recently, I've just been getting into RPGs, so I just bought a shit ton of games. So... First off, I'm going to start off with the Steels. Dissidia, 012. Duodecim, Duodecim, I don't know. Duodecimal, 012, Final Fantasy. 375. No lies. Don't even, have, don't even have a PSP, but I had to get it. Played it though on my friend's PSP, and it's pretty awesome. Not going to lie. So I'm going to start with PS2. PS2, here we go. Dragon Quest VIII, Journey of the Cursed King. Haven't played it. Looks awesome. It's my. It's the game I want to play next. It's the sprite in line. Second in line, right there. Want to play it? Looks awesome. Graphics look awesome. Everything is awesome. Okay. Disgaea one and two. I bought this one brand new. I bought this one like new. They are about twenty bucks each. Probably should have paid less for them, but they are in amazing condition, both black label. This one is a reissue kind of thing, so not as not nearly as worth what I should have paid for it, unfortunately. My friend told me about it, so. Alright, next one. Star Ocean Until the End of Time. Like new, I think it was $15. And it comes with everything, and the case, and the manual, and everything... Everything is like new, and the box is just the only thing that's a little beat up because you know it's the box. So, very awesome cover art, Square Enix, PS2. Haven't played it. Rogue Galaxy, haven't played it, but I've heard it's awesome as hell. This is the logo right here, and that usually means quality. I'm gonna trust it. Persona 3 and 4. Brand new for 20 bucks each on Amazon. Yeah, both black label, can't go wrong. Amazon.com official. Haven't played them. Looking forward to it though, because I've heard those are awesome RPGs. Tales of the Abyss. Bought it for too much. I bought it for like $25 on eBay because the guy said it was like new and it was bidding it and I didn't want to lose. And I spend too much money on video games on the internet. To find them locally, they'd be cheaper. But... Alright, got this one for $15. Valkyrie, Valkyrie Profile 2. Sil. Silmaria? Silmaria? I don't know how to say it. Probably Silmaria. But... Okay, this one pisses me off because I buy $15 and. Freaking name on the manual. Like, you... that pisses me off. So, I'm gonna return it and leave him a negative review. Also, if he decides to give me a huge discount, like, if he gives me, like, 5 or $10 back, then, then okay, whatever, I'll keep it. Next game, Maximo, Ghosts to Glory. Awesome, what it looks like. I also got the sequel to this game, but the thing is, it was just, I got it in the mail, and it wasn't as described, so I had to send it back. So I'm gonna buy it, and I, I'm gonna buy it again, but I just gotta wait for the return to process so I can get money back. So yeah, this was, this is like pretty much mint, uh, black label with the purple disc. Happy about that. Dark Cloud, black label. Got it for five bucks from somebody. Probably my biggest bargain I've gotten so far. Guy didn't want it anymore, so I was like, hey dude, if you don't want it and you're trying to sell it, he, he like, he was trying to sell it at the store that I work at called Hastings and we only give like 25 cents <laughs> for PS2 games and store credit even less for cash so um he was like yeah I don't want to sell it here and I'm like dude I'll buy it from you for five bucks and he's like alright so yeah mint copy of Dark Cloud 2 black label five bucks and I got this Musashi Samurai Legend Bought it from a game store, which pisses me off. 
because they put the sticker on the inside of the shrink wrap instead of vice versa, which makes me want to punch them in the fucking neck, but you know, whatever. $10. Good enough price. Now, let's move on to the Wii. Okay, I got this. You see the little missing head? Um, there was a sticker on that. I had to pull it off, and unfortunately that came with it. Good thing the box is not what the main attraction is. The controller is, but, you know, it's in there. And also that came off. Pissed me off. Just all that shit. But yeah, I got this from Hastings, where I work, for $30 with everything included. That is an awesome price. I already had the game, but you know, I wanted the controller, and I can sell the game on eBay for about 30 bucks, the money back, so... Alright. Well, actually, we're gonna just show a GameCube game. Tales of Symphonia, one of the most sought-after RPGs on the GameCube, or I don't know if it's not the more sought-after, but the most expensive, one of the more expensive ones, I don't know if it's the most, I've looked into the most expensive games, but this one goes for around 40 to $45 when it, it is perfect condition, like, like new perfect. 40 bucks usually. I talked this guy down to $35. And he, he sent it to me, and it is a very amazing condition. Black label, discs are perfect, case is perfect. So yeah, it's paid a lot. I paid a lot, but you know, I'm going to enjoy it. I played it on the PC first. And to try it out, and I must admit, it is an awesome game, so I had to buy it, and here you go. Bought it. Alright, now this one's gonna piss me off. Zack and Wicked, you're thinking, yeah, good game. Bought it from eBay. Yeah, right here. Bought it from eBay. And, uh, the case caved in right there. Piss me off. So, yeah. Um, the case caved in, the guy said it was in like new condition, and, uh, I don't know if you can see the disc, it probably looks pretty good from right here, but, um, there's, um, there's some defects on it, I just don't want it, especially for the price, I mean, it said it was like new, and no, it's not like new, so, the case, it doesn't look poor, but there's quite a few indents and scratches all over it and a little bit of dirt to call it like new. People on, online aren't honest, so. Alright, and I got uh, Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World. Yes, yeah, that's, that's what it's called. Haven't played any of these games, so don't judge me. Yeah. About 20 bucks. Like new. These games I got from for very cheap at GameStop. Um, less than $20 together, so happy about that. Complete great condition. Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Alright, I bought it for $43 on Amazon.com. Next day it turned to 40 bucks, but whatever. Anyways, back to this. Me and my brother played this. We sat down, we played it for 12 hours straight. We got 96% complete, we got every gear, and we beat every level. He died quite a few times on the last boss because of the little shoot 'em up part where you have like the two little spaceships and you're shooting at the guy is really annoying. So it took a while to get past that. I think it was about 12 hours, maybe 11. But it was a lot of hours spent playing this game, and we beat it in one day. The thing was that it kind of was tiring and boring towards the end. The beginning levels are pretty awesome, but the ending levels are eh, not my favorite. Solid Kirby game. I thought Epic Yarn was a little bit better, to be honest. Um, the graphics are good, I mean, the artwork is great, it's just, it's a, it's an overall good game, if you like Kirby, get it. Not the best, though, definitely not the best. Alright, and I got a Monster Hunter Try with the Classic Controller Pro, because I have Xenoblade, and I didn't even have a Classic Controller Pro, so I'm just like, well, I need that, and then I saw this online, and it was... $35, and I was like, that's totally worth it, because it's, it's $25 just for the game, so $10 more and you get a controller. It's like half price controller right there, so, you know, whatever. You know, it's a cool box, too. It like, shows side artwork and all that. It's like, same side artwork, but whatever. And then, you know, cool stuff on the back. Sealed still. 
and I'll decide when I open that, but it looks awesome, like an awesome game, so. I got this on the very first day. I haven't played it. I opened it up, I redeemed the little Nintendo, Club Nintendo thing, and I read the book. The book was really interesting, I had a lot of good facts on Kirby. Very awesome thing right here. I need to play it because, oh man, I just need to play some of my games. That's, that's all there is to it. The Last Story. I still haven't even taken off the price sticker or anything. This is brand new. Shrink wrapped still. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one a lot, but I need to get through some of my games. Epic Mickey. Hold on. Epic Mickey. <laughs> Epic Mickey. I got the collector's edition. Everything. I have it on display up in my room because why buy it if you're not gonna get the display? Got it for twenty bucks, brand new. Steel. Because the game itself retails for twenty, and if you get the collector's edition for the same exact, same exact price, I mean, why not, right? So I got it. Haven't opened it yet. As you can see, this little red thing, shrink wrapped and all that, Y fold seal, not rare. <laughs> Resident Evil Four Wii Edition. Got it sealed for eight dollars. Haven't. Well, I played the. The PC version, because I bought it at a garage sale, but honestly, the PC version sucks ass. But so I stopped playing it. My friend told me, "Hey, dude, the Wii and GameCube version are like fucking awesome." So I bought it. So we're gonna do PS3. First off, Journey Collector's Edition. Can't pass that up. I bought it new for thirty bucks. Didn't even care. Journey, amazing game. That is, it's a quick play. It's great. It's fun. You can replay. It has a lot of replayability. You can find a lot of new stuff. Play with people you don't even know. And you don't even know their name when you play with them. It's just it's just an awesome experience. It's definitely worth uh, experiencing. And Flower is also very relaxing and fun. Flow, it's all right. Not my not my favorite, but you know it's pretty cool. So these two games are amazing. And uh, yeah, just great, great game. I wanted it, but I wanted to own it physically. When I saw this, I was like, yes. So that was my excuse to buy it. Skate 3. I got it on Xbox 360 and I beat it already, but I was craving it because I got back into skateboarding recently. Also, I haven't been uploading videos as regularly. And, uh, yeah. Skate 3 is decent. I mean, <laughs> it's okay. Whatever. It's a pretty good game. Got it for $20 new. Paid full price. Whatever. Um. Trinity Universe. Um, this game can go for a pretty good chunk of money online. So, I found this at my local game store for uh, $40. I'm going to keep it sealed until I am positive that I want to play it. Because if I don't really want to play it, I can always sell it. Because in the future, I guess it's going to be even more rare, so I could get a pretty good chunk out of that. Maybe not that much of a profit, maybe like 50 or 60 but whatever. I'm going to keep it sealed until I'm ready to play it. Good way to do things. Jack and Dax Drake's D Collection, 20 bucks. Got it as soon as it turned 20 bucks. Haven't opened it. Sly Collection, 20 bucks. Got it when it turned 20 bucks. Little Big Planet 2 Special Edition, 20 bucks. Bought it when it was 20 bucks. As soon as it became 20 bucks, I mean. God of War Origins Collection, 20 bucks. Uncharted 3, 20 bucks. Bought it when it became 20 bucks. I haven't opened all these games. Okay, Metal Gear Solid 4. I traded someone on PeaceGameRoomForum.com, and they gave I gave them one of my games, Mario Power Tennis, and they gave me this. So, cool. Um, it's a very it's like a pretty much like new copy of uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, which is a black label. So I'm happy. Thank you. This guy at three and four. Three is opened. Four is not. Four was twenty-eight dollars. This was nineteen. Disgaea games are pretty expensive, but yeah. Last Rebellion. It, this is probably like the most hated. Maybe not the most, but probably one of the most hated NIS games. Here we got horrible reviews. I mean, I thought it looked decent, and you know what? It was eight dollars where I worked. Eight dollars. 
So I got it. Unfortunately, it was a previously viewed rental, so it didn't come with the manual, but I took off the little rental sticker around it very easily with some rubbing alcohol, and the case is in like new condition, so I'm happy. I'll play it, test it out. Hopefully it's good. Got the uh, God of War collection right here. Black label. Didn't want to buy the uh, red one in stores. So uh, I went online, found this for $15. Got it shipped to my house in two days. And yeah, it was pretty much brand new. The guy said it was brand new, but uh, all he did was put some uh, <laughs> little security device enclosed stickers on it and call it brand new. Well, not, he called it like new. He didn't call it brand new. And I'm like, dude, what the hell? So, uh, yeah. the There's a little God of War 3 download voucher. Still unredeemed. <laughs> so that's, that's, I guess, that's pretty cool. And then, yeah. The disc is in perfect condition and whatnot. For $15, that's pretty decent. Especially online where the prices are usually horrible. Valkyria Chronicles. Valkyria? Valkyria. Valkyria Chronicles. Heard it's awesome. I bought it for $20 used. And I opened it like a dumbass. I was like, I want to play this. And I opened it and I was like, fuck, I have to work. Okay. So now we're going to go to the Xbox 360, which I only have like a couple games for. So bear with me. Infinite Undiscovery. I got it for $12, like new. The guy uh, used his own little Y-fold sealing machine, so I'm just going to keep it in this because I want to play it so it stays in even better condition. Star Ocean Last Hope. This is officially Xbox sealed. I think I got it for $12. I would have got the PS3 version. PS3 version is $25 now. I'm going to have to turn off voices and put on subtitles for this game anyways. <laughs> Even though it's going to be shitty. All the cutscenes, just reading. Got Tales of Asperia. $20 online. Um, yeah, I had to get it because uh, I just had to. It's probably like my most anticipated game to play. But I still haven't played it. I'm going to play this game like I want to play this game even more than Symphonia and the Abyss. I want to play this game so bad. I don't know why. It just looks awesome. Like the cover art is just great. So yeah, looking forward to that. Last game, Resonance of Fate. Resonance. I don't know how to say it, but Resonance of Fate, made by Triace. Can't go wrong. Um, published by Sega. Heard it's great. So you know what? I'm just gonna give it a chance. I bought it brand new. A little icebox seal. Brand new. $20. Not gonna hate. Alright. Thank you guys for watching.